So this one's going to be short and sweet, but I wanted to talk about it because something about it caught my eye. And I'm not sure what it is. Maybe I just like the title. Devil's Island is a cool name and it kind of captures my imagination. Plus you get to see Captain America fighting a shark, which is something you really need to see at least once before you die. Immediately in the splash page, we can see that there's something wrong here. Cap and Bucky loon onward as a man with a terrifying grin shackles them to a dying prisoner. The man is actually Pepe the Rock, and he runs a military prison on Devil's Island, where he is torturing criminals for his own twisted psychopathic pleasure. So how are Cap and Bucky going to put a stop to this? Let's find out. Immediately we can see that LaRock is a foul sort of man. He is informed that two Americans have arrived on the island to meet up with one of his prisoners. Of course, these two Americans happen to be Steve Rogers and Bucky. They're here to visit a prisoner by the name of Tom Jason, who is an expert pilot who shot down many Nazi planes during the war. This is fine, except when LaRock brings Tom out, they notice that he's being starved and tortured, obviously. Tom admits that he is sick, but assures Cap and Bucky that he is actually being treated well by LaRock. Then the prison guards escort Cap and Bucky to a nearby shack where they are told they can spend the night. It's here where they discuss the current situation and deduce that Tom was definitely lying. Then they don their costumes and head out to look for some answers. While exploring the prison island, they hear the screams of someone in agonizing pain, and they stumble upon LaRock's private torture chamber. Cap charges at LaRock, but this turns out to be a mistake, because with the flip of a switch, LaRock opens up a trap door, sending Cap down to do deadly battle with a shark. Now Cap has no choice but to use his expert swimming skills to dodge the shark's teeth. Then he uses his strength to rip off one of the steel wings from his helmet and stabs it into the shark, causing it to bleed to death. Then, with all his strength, Cap lunges for the surface and escapes just moments before the sharks can eat him. Luckily, he's made it out just in time to find Bucky, just seconds away from being murdered by LaRock. So he whips into action and pounds LaRock in the face so hard that he flies across the room. Afterwards, they free Tom from his bindings, and he is so grateful that he vows to continue using his expert piloting skills to destroy as many Nazi ships as he can. Later, Cap and Bucky read a newspaper which sings praises for Tom, who has joined the fleet in Greece. So that's it. Captain America infiltrated Devil's Island. Um, I don't know. He routed out the terror he found there. And we got a happy ending, which is always nice. In fact, every issue gives you a happy ending. I also like the fact that this takes place in an isolated jungle island. I always like those, you know. But more importantly, I like that it touches on the ideas of false imprisonment. This is the kind of thing you would see during war. I mean specifically the unjust imprisonment of uh, the government's current enemies, tortured combatants that nobody can free because, I mean, it's currently wartime. I mean, even America has done that. Imagine how terrible that is. Getting shot down and imprisoned, then tortured, and nobody cares because the whole country is technically your enemy. It's nice that Cap was able to make a difference here, is all I'm saying. I imagine him running around and setting all these prisoners free. If only they had maybe one extra page, they could have done that, you know, that would have been nice to see. But either way, that's it for this story. In the next one, we're going back to Manhattan so Cap can visit the circus and do battle with the horrifying ringmaster of crime. Be there.